Welcome to Simbi House, an enlightened approach to new home design and construction, brought to you by Products Magazine and Simbi Homes. In this episode, we're beginning the exterior framing on our side-by-side -side duplex using structurally insulated panels, or SIPs for short. One of the things to think about with SIPs is how are you going to store them on site? Because when they arrive on site, unless you're installing them in the next uh, you know, 24 hours, no rain in sight, you need to think about avoiding moisture with the SIPs. If these things get really wet, the OSB is going to swell, that's going to impact your installation. And also, if the EPS on the inside of the SIPs gets wet, then you're also going to be dealing with uh, you know, a lot of significant drying time on that, which could slow your build down. So we immediately wrap these things in plastic. We also put these spring clamps on the plastic to keep it in place. And we're starting in this corner so because our sips are in the back, so we can bring our sips to our placement here. One thing that's very important with sips is that every surface be have a sealant so that we stop any air from traveling around the panel or in between the panels. By putting a bead of caulk across here, and that will um, stop any air from coming up from below. We're gonna caulk around our electrical channel. Then we're gonna caulk, have a continuous bead down the center. The bottom, tops, and exposed ends are sealed with SIP sealant and 2x6 lumber. Each panel has a number, so we know exactly where it goes. And check this out, most SIPS panels are light enough that one framer can lift them safely into place. Thank you, Robert. There you go, panel number one of our Simbi duplex is set. Robert is temporarily tacking it into place until adjacent panels are up and then it will be nailed four inches on center across the bottom plate. Only 85 more to go. 